Hello everybody, how you doing? Hope you're all well. This is Magna Tomato right here. Welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4. This is part 3? I don't even know. I think it's part 3. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, that's really terrible. I really should remember. Uh, but this is uh, another part of the Let's Play uh, in which I am building myself a new career, um, so to speak. Um, I'm not really decided on what title I'm going to give this series yet. It might be something like that, like I'm building a new career or something. I have no idea. Or I've got myself a new career. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, anyway, um, more importantly, gameplay. Uh, we need to focus on our gameplay. Um, okay. Uh, I'm interested, uh, I think we were discussing what sort of national ideas we might want to consider taking. Um, it's a good question, that. Um, uh, I don't know. I think we'll just pause here for a second. Um, certainly either uh, offensive or defensive would be nice. Uh, based on the fact our leaders are garbage, I think offensive ideas might be good. But uh, trade ideas is also a favourite one. Although, we could also take uh, exploration and go down the colonial route. Now, the problem with that, though, is we may actually cheese off Ming if we start colonising down here. Because Ming might have ambitions to do that. But we will see. Uh, if Ming decides to not play that route, then we might very well play it ourselves. Also, there are some Siberian provinces that are well up for grabs. The only problem with that is Muscovy tends to do colonizing there. So uh, possible conflict with Muscovy could be interesting. Uh, so you never know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've got to turn the light back on again because um, the weather just cannot make its mind up today. Uh, so Yeren and Jianzu. Okay, so Yeren, I think we can get our first plane. We sure can. So 2-1. Let's go there. And I think we need 25 here. Yes, we do. But uh, we don't actually have a truce with Yeren. So we could probably go in for an attack there. Who is... Um... We haven't discovered you yet. Okay. Uh, so it's a bit risky if we decided to go in there and uh, attack. Because we don't know who their ally is. I want to convert Imam. Or Iman. <laughs> to convert the Imam. Oh, that sounds quite bad. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> ignore that. Right, so let's uh, unite our light fleet over here. Where on earth even is... Oh, you're over there. I couldn't see you. You were hidden in the... Uh... Right, move into here then, and let's unite our light fleet with a view to uh, protecting trade a lot more efficiently. So we should have about 12 ships. Yeah, that's right. Good. Okay, protect trade in the nip and trade node. Brilliant. So that should increase the amount of trade that we collect. Should do. Keeping an eye. Yeah, we went from 176 to 252. Fantastic. More monies. Great. Um, good. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and convert to Iman then. What's our missionary strength here? 1.9. Fair enough. It's not amazing, but uh, it's fine. Uh, and let's fabricate more planes on Zhuanzu. Uh, so let's go for Bahori then. Okay, considering we started off as one of the smallest nations in this area, we have actually progressed quite nicely. Um, we timed our attack quite well. Uh, ooh, monies. What are we... Ooh, might be able to recruit an advisor. We don't really need one at the moment, though. Um... Could possibly spend on some trade buildings. Plus 610, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm going to make that investment. Plus 610 for a marketplace there. That's going to be brilliant. Uh, super. I believe this one is actually a tra important trade one. Yeah, um, coastal centre of trade. Of course, there is another coastal centre of trade over here. Which is one that we would really be interested in taking. And we would declare war on Uchi for that one. Your Liberty Desire is still 100% from uh, Japan. And I would like you to get um, independent from Japan. That would be nice. Ainu. Japanese Conquest of Kimikawa. Which one's that? Nambu? Which one's Ainu? Is that this one down here? No. Is this, that must be up here. That must be this one in here. I might therefore want to take exploration ideas purely for the uh, the idea of uh, doing some exploring and looking around at the north here and seeing what's going on. Uh, it might be interesting. 
We have no truce with Yeren, though, do we? We have no truce here whatsoever, so we could declare a war. I'd be interested to see whether we could. Um, I might get claims on both of the land first, though. Uh, before we do that, uh, the the third diplomat, of course, is going to be sat around in um, sat around in Ming, and we're literally never going to move that guy, probably. Uh, of course, we could go to war with Haishi as well, but you're uh, allied with Jianzu, which is fine. Uh, so I'd probably go and declare for Jianzu, and then sort of attack Haishi at the same time. But Yeren is right for the taking here, I feel. Uh, although I don't know... Oh, Buryatia is over here. That must be somebody over this way. Okay. I'd be interested to know what the increased tax base would be, should I decide to build a church. Or what is it, actually? It's a temple. Yeah, my apologies. Uh, plus 0, 20 is not bad. Some good boosts down here for taxation, so that might be an interesting thing to consider in the future. Um, that marketplace, though, is nearly done. Pretty sure. Yeah. 7th of April. Okay. Good. And we can make a state if we want to. Ilin Hala. Zilin and uh, Ilin Hala. Which would be this one over here. Okay. So we don't quite own all of the provinces in the Jilin state yet, which we might want. Uh, yeah, so we might want to take these three first and then consider making a state of this. Uh, just out of curiosity, um, what would... Uh, what would be the expected income increase? Oh, it's not actually worth it at the moment. Okay, well, good to know, good to know. Okay, so Jiazu, once we've got our second claim on Yeren, I think we'll go in for a fight. Um, they're not that big, uh, and I'm hoping that the ally that is up here is not that big either. I'm confident, though, with 21,000 troops that we'll do just fine here. Uh, right, so Yeren, fabricate claim on a green our green i don't know it sounds like our green which is that uh, that province in uh, western africa that portugal always colonizes <laughs> right so then uh, let's walk forward then and let's go in for an attack so we could royal marry we could get an alliance or we could declare war so briata would join in uh, ming would join in on my side uh, interesting but i don't think i'll do that uh let's go in for a fight then so take two one uh, actually, before I do, we've not discovered Buryata yet, have we? So we can't see their uh, army count. But what is Yeren's, just out of curiosity? 7,000. Yeah. Like, that seems to make sense. So let's go for 2-1, which is this one here. We're going to go for a 2-1. 2-2-1. Two, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Declare war. Charge. So I'd be interested to see what Buryata's... Okay, so you're here. Oh god, you're actually... Buryata is only a tribe. Uh, we are uh, the same tech as you. We're a tech ahead of Yeren, though. That's great. But now that, I've ex now that I can see them... Um... 10,000 men. Okay. Well, that's great. Because that still means that we, uh, we have enough men to be able to fight this on our own. Superb. Okay, so... Also, that means we've discovered someone else that we can attack, so no problems there. Uh, detach a siege. Walk in there. Block that off. Uh, you've been at war with Haishi for, for a couple of times, so unless... Uh, they actually do give you military access, which is interesting. Um, right, your capital is up here. Ming declared war on Korchin. Okay, um... That's not the not the best way of right. You're actually locked in here. So when are you getting here? Twenty seventh. Might lose that stack. Oh well, that's a shame. Can lose that stack. All right, we'll go in here then. Not sure what the terrain's like here. Oh, it's actually oh we're in the steps, aren't we? Yeah. Like this is um. Yeah, this is sort of the steppes near Mongolia. Okay, so this is going to be favourable terrain to fight in. So Korchin is likely to lose some land to Ming, uh, which might actually be a little bit of a problem for us in terms of our westward expansion here. Oh my god, did you really do that? Combined your forces. Ah, you jerks. That's actually quite annoying. Um, wasn't paying attention there. That's quite poor. Uh, it's a big amount of war score lost. Uh, we'll occupy the position in the uh, in the woods there. 
coming after this army, aren't you? No, you're going up here. Oh, really? There's no way I can get out of it. You're going to take a penalty, but I don't think it's going to be enough of a penalty. No, I can't get out of here. I might lose this fight. Oh my god, that's so bad. Should have kept my armies together. Uh, you've got a way better leader as well, so... Yeah. Despite the fact that, yeah, you took the terrain penalty, but we're still going to lose. Uh, brutal! Okay, um... Well, really? 134. Right, let's create some troops here then. And merge these two armies together, actually. Uh, right, and we're, we're going to try and fight back here. Uh, so this is Yanzu, so we can get another claim over here, which we will do. So Kuru is the next one. Keep keep getting claims there. Uh, we're going to we're gonna mount a fight back here. Um, merge together. Yeah, I'm going to mount a good fight back. Right. Merge. Right, let's see if we can't do some stuff here where we can pick these guys off. Of course we have. Okay, right. Uh, so 21,000 was the amount of troops we started with. So let's go ahead and merge together. And let's move forward. See if I can catch one of these guys out here. Right. Ooh, okay. Um, move down here. Right, so this is a... Steps. Brilliant. You've moved too far away. So I'm going to go in for that fight there. And you're too far away now. Fantastic. Oh, Ming got very aggressive there. My god. Okay, so a bit of aggressive expansion, but no, not too much. Okay. But yeah, I've gone in for a fight there, and you're now too far away. Ha ha ha! Revenge is sweet. Screw you. Right, I believe, if we're not mistaken... Oh no, that's admin. I was going to say, we could get the uh, the next technology here. Right, where are you going? Where are you running to? Here. Perfect. Get a stack wipe. We're going to get there before the ticker. No, we're not. Don't think you're going to be able to get out of there in time, though. Ha ha, stack wipe. Screw you. Right, uh, gotta be careful once again here, but we are going to do some siege detachment work and things like that. Um, did my lights? Yeah, you're still you're still doing that. Okay, that's good. I'm glad about that. Um, right, let's continue to move forward then. Detach the siege. Walk in there. Yeah, you're too busy sieging down here. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Screw you, Yeren. Okay, the Separatists rose up. That's a bit bit annoying. Okay, so a bit of war score. Uh, you move into there and commence the uh, commence the siege of the capital. We should go our way. Hey, brilliant. Okay, sweet revenge there. Okay, mm, yeah. Hopefully it will go better than this. Supply limit is probably terrible. It is. So our attrition is going to be through the roof. Okay, so there's a bit of separatism and things like that. Uh, it's a bit annoying. Right. Merge together. And do some consolidating to minimise the attrition. Uh, we have lost a general. So I guess what we're going to need to do then is move you across to here. Recruit a general and then move him back in. Bit annoying, uh, but it's okay. Uh, right, so do we have any generals kicking around? We have one. Still absolutely garbage. I'm going to take the siege pit one though, uh, purely for the siege. He's useless for fighting, but he is he's a siege pit general, so that's going to work out nicely. It's going to add to the uh, the siege ability. So although he's an absolutely dreadful general, it's okay. <laughs> Right, so still maximum relations with Ming. Our fort down here is going to fall. That's a shame. But we are going to siege out the capital. Where are you going? Okay, you're occupying some of Yeren's land. 
Or was that partly belonging to Zhanzu at one point? I don't know. Okay, won the siege. Fantastic. Right. Interested by these separatists here as to what they do. Um, yeah, we'll wait there. So where are you actually attacking now? You're attacking my capital. Great. Right, come in down here and pick off this 1k stack that keeps on besieging rubbish. You're going into Agreen. Uh, okay, reoccupy this then. The attrition is real though. Attempt siege, occupy that. Okay, now you're asking for a peace out. Um, decline. We're being heavily attrition, that's the problem. Uh, so we may have to peace out here and deal with these rebels. I think we have to here. We'll, <coughs> we'll occupy these two and then we will... Um... Okay, converted that one. Nice. <coughs> Missionary strength is going to be very useful. Uh, so next job, conquer Yehe. Which is this one here. Border of friction with Ming, but... I don't know. Might be well worth doing. How much is our admin going to cost me? It's pretty painful. Uh, okay, so... You're coming in for an attack. I get out of here. You're joking. And you're not going to pick up the penalty. Right, get out of here. Yeah. Run out. Get out of here now. Right, okay, uh, so let's sue for peace then. Um, so we'll take 2 1, our green. Four provinces. And all your money. Could vassalize you though. Just wondering whether that might be an option. Clear offer. Take the war goal. No, you're not willing to vassalize. Too much. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we'll be aggressive then. We'll do this. And take all your money. That'll do. I think that'll be fine. Um, might cheese off Ming a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, send demand. Yeah, we did cheese off Ming a little bit. Cool, okay, so you need to now walk into here and we need to try and work out how the hell we're going to take on uh, these rebels. Okay, so let's start by coring things. Uh, we're going to get our military technology upgraded, which means we can upgrade our soldiers. Um, and that's going to be important for taking on these rebels, certainly. Um, I want the offensive guys. I think that's going to be important. Right. Uh, I will keep my forts up for the moment, although they're, they're all down here, and I doubt that the rebels are going to siege down here, because they're separatists for this lot. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Yeah, they want some of my provinces, Ming, which is the ones I've just taken. Uh, they don't have claims here, though, so that's interesting. Uh, we can take our admin tech. So that means we can get our national idea. Wonderful. And we can also take our Diplo tech. Great! Okay. Uh, so, national idea then. I think the one that we're absolutely going to take is probably going to be offensive. Saying that though, we need to keep up with our military. I'm going to take someone else. You know what? I'm going to take exploration. I'm going to take the exploration ideas. Uh, I think colonizing is going to be powerful here. Uh, conquer Yehe. Yeah, okay, right. Um, I'd like to try and trap these separatists in, at some point if I can. Right, uh, so you're going to come in here. Well, there's going to be a fight no matter what here then. We're not at full morale either. Um... You're going to take a terrain penalty at the very least. You're not going to take a crossing penalty because your manoeuvre is darn high. If 
can't change the leader either. Gonna have to try and take this fight then. I don't think there's much else we can do. Um, so let's fabricate our final claim on Jianzu. Stop building spy network. Uh, let's build a more bigger spy network over here in Haishi. That'll do. I think we might lose this fight here though. Yeah, we're gonna lose this fight. Getting close though. Jeez. It's actually gonna be very close. Oh, jeez. My god. Okay, we'll get our Royal Marriage with Oirat back. Um, that's fine. I don't mind Oirat at the moment. They're, they're okay. Mongolia's Liberty Desire must be quite high. It is, though. Yeah. And of course, if Ming decides to attack you, I'm not going to join the, the defensive war. No way I'm going to join that. Okay. Um, yeah, looks like our galley's got booted out there. Getting a trader. That's nice. Right, good. Okay, so we've successfully dealt with um, those rebels. Lucky. Uh, do we have enough money to... Yeah, we have enough money to... Ooh, some monarch points. Do some conversions. So let's go for Inhala then. Elan... Elan Hala? I don't even know what that is. Elan Hala. That'll do. So mission, just the manpower one. Not going to take that. Okay, so has Ming turned around? Yeah, Ming has decided it doesn't want those provinces anymore. Good. I'm more than happy for Ming to attack westwards over here, you know, but I want to focus my attention on the top here. This is where my attention is right now. Uh, ooh, is that a declaration of... Yes, it's an independence war. Nice. That might be useful for me. Uh, if they win that, that'd be great. Uh, they're currently losing, though. But if they win that, that'll be lovely, um, because that means that they're going to be independent, and I might want to go and attack them, uh, which is good. Okay, the word Korea is getting bigger. Me likey. I like words that get big. Uh, ooh, my upload's finished. Wonderful. Uh, I always like to upload on my laptop whilst I'm playing EU4. Um, like uh, I like to upload. Um, I'm currently uploading uh, Tunis gameplay. So. Okay, uh, unfortunately we're going to get some Pretender Regiments rise up, um, because of the weak, the weakness of our air over here. Corruption's on the rise as well. Okay, that'll do, due to overextension mostly. Uh, normally I would go and attack that, but obviously uh, this is actually a poor province to attack into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to here and try and convince those guys to move elsewhere. 166, yeah, see, manpower needs to recover, and that's going to take a long, long time. So, right, Japan has announced me as a rival. Uh, that's fair enough, which I'm quite happy that, for that to be. Okay, so, Ming's army is 400% better than ours. So, for every one regiment we have, they have four. So, that means they have about 40,000 men. At the same time, though, they are, like, the powerhouse in this region. So, understandable. Okay, you're moving out from there. That's fine. I'm going to go and occupy this, then. Where are you going? You must be going up here. I'll be more than happy to fight you up there. Three fire. We've got such a bad leader, though. That's the problem. Literally, such a bad leader. We'll consolidate here as well. Uh, so, throw in this leader. We're we'll going to attack. No real choice. I've got to, you know, just terrible leaders. But we're going for an attack there. We've got the numbers. Uh, it's in the steps. Uh, doesn't look like any rivers there, so no river crossings. Uh, we gained a little bit of men in that point, so we should be fine. We should be. They got good fire, but they have no shot, so. Wow, that's a little bit close for comfort, it's got to be said, but yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so, oh, they're still about as well. Um, go in here and clear it up, please. And clear it up before the ticker, that'll be nice. No, not going to be in full ticker. We should be able to clear that out now. There we go, problem solved. Okay, cool. I'm tempted by the construction of a fort somewhere up here. And there's more rebels. Really? Oh my god, there's so many of them as well. 
Oh my god, we're not in any position to deal with this. I'm going to stand in the woodland province. And I'm going to do the only thing I can right now, and that's throwing mercs. Really, no. Throwing the mercs. It's got to be done. Okay. Just to pan out the army until uh, until the rebels fire. Ooh, uh, yes. I can prank get some more planes in Haishi. Oh no, I can't. I need 30. Okay. Oh, we got kicked out of there. You jerk. Okay, oh well. Uh, we'll fabricate some more planes in Yeren, though. Uh, we'll definitely do that. And we've got a lot of planes in Janzu, which is okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and build a... Oh, you're still a vassal. <laughs> that's not good for us, though. That's not good, really. Um, yeah, that's a bit annoying. Okay, we'll keep a... Jeez, I don't really want to... I like to have diplomats working. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Let's keep them working. Build a spy network over in Japan. You're a rival now, so we get some bonuses to that. Good. Okay. Right. Uchi has fabricating claims against our land. Of course they are. Um, okay. So, uh, keep reinforcing. That'll be fine. The mercs are just padding out the army a little bit there. So hopefully they don't rise on top of the army. Uh, they will take a penalty, though, if they do. There's a lot of them. It's a lot of rebels, that is. It's mad. Really cranky. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, lose some ducats. We'll lose some ducats. Are you still coring? Yes, you are. Okay. I'd be interested to know whether you're going to come in and attack here. I wouldn't mind if you did. Uh, Hikesy wants military access. Why? Oh, to be able to walk through to their other... I'm going to be a jerk. No. Um, and I'm also going to throw in some extra mercs here. Just to make sure we got numbers. So I've got the thing they will come in and try and attack here. Uh, no, you've moved down to here. Okay, that's annoying because that's the province that I need to, I'm trying to call. Uh, looks like I might go in for an aggressive attack here then. Might have to. Go in for an aggressive attack. It's a good promise to attack into. The morale was there. Okay, Japan holds provinces that we have claims on. Looks like they... Oh, they annexed uh, one of their vassals. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, who did they annex? Oh, this one down here. Okay. Wow. Jeez. Okay. So Uchi is still a vassal. Uh, but no doubt that liberty desire is going to rise and they're going to try and declare another independence war at some point. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Consolidate these guys together. Most of this is mercs, which is quick. <laughs> God, the armies take a battering. Uh, court in separatist, where are you? Sisigard. Sisigard. Si senor. Hey, beg does get me. Does anybody know that song? Bailando, bailando. No? <laughs> I don't know. If anyone knows that song, comments. Uh, I'd be interested to know who actually knows that. Create an army for our nation. Yes. Of course we will take that name. So, so many... Okay, so we don't need too many men, but the problem is, like, a lot of this is mercs, so... We need to, uh, we need to be careful. Are we still making money? Just about. And we are reaching out corruption, obviously. Religious unity. Okay. Well, we're working on that. Okay, uh, but I think I'm going to end this part right here. Uh, yes, I think I'm going to end this part right here then. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like EU4, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, be sure to tune in for the Junis gameplay as well. Um, if you uh, are interested in some slightly more European-sided uh, EU4. Uh, however, Tunis itself is actually in Magro. So. Um, but there we go, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, uh, and join me next time for more for myself, Matt Desimato. Cheers for watching, guys.